Urban Dilemmas by Terrence Jennings. Common theme, blacks have been the subject of unfair treatment and put at a disadvantage while whites have been ignorant in their views of blacks in America. Chapter 1, Colored Property and White Backlash. Detroit suburban residents and officials had helped ensure that most neighborhoods remained off limits to black people. Countless whites had determined that private property neighborhoods and local, local government institutions had econo economic values that were racially specific. Mayor Hubbard of Dearborn, Michigan, had a lawsuit brought on him accusing him of violating black rights by covering bulletin boards with racially insensitive flyers and newspaper clippings. Hubbard was very public about being pro-segregation -segre and many residents of Dearborn's, Dearborn complained, stating how they were upset of the unfair treatment he was getting. Residents say they enjoyed living in a crime-free, well-managed city like Dearborn. They also stated, is it because Mayor Hubbard believes in excellent schools and for the residents to feel safe and secure? Many whites in America helped pay for Hubbard's legal fees even though they knew he was racist, but residents thought this was okay. Even after the Civil Rights Act of 1964, blacks were still not allowed to live in white neighborhoods and experience very hard times trying to fit in with white America. Chapter 2, Black Trash. Blacks themselves have been thought of as disposable in this part of the problem. Winthrop Jordan stated how blacks before the 16th century were characterized as deeply stained with dirt, spoiled, dirty, foul, or involving death. And blacks as the darkest of color are distinguished by and burdened down with a freight of symbolism heavier than any other race. Black religions were originally seen as devil worship. During slavery, blacks worked their own labor space and were usually the dirtiest and most dangerous jobs. The black body also sign signifies pure labor, the work, work appropriate to the body without a brain, unskilled, and bottom status. Blacks already have the connotations of trashiness. Blacks are not part of the we that who are facing the environmental problem of what we do with our refuse. Blacks from before they are born have been viewed as less than whites and blacks have always grown up with that mentality. Some whites have continued with this mentality causing conflicts. Chapter six, justice work in the ghetto poor. Joblessness is an ex explanation for why ghettos persist. So many among the ghetto poor do not work regularly. That best explains why those in these communities often remain poor. Jobless includes both able-bodied adults looking for work and able-bodied adults who have dropped out of the workforce permanently. Some members of ghetto poor do not work because jobs are simply unavailable or a mismatch between skills and jobs. Ghetto poor blacks not working, some emphasize voluntary joblessness, choosing not to work even though there are jobs for them. This uh, makes many US citizens angry. The basic structures of U.S. society is, is deeply unfair. Some refuse to accommodate themselves to their low position. If blacks were not burdened by the injustices of the past or the disadvantages they have inherited, ghettos would not exist. Fewer blacks were self-supporting. Does government have an obligation to ensure that there is work for all who are able and willing to work? Ghetto poor can refuse to work if jobs available pay too little. If you're working full time, you should not be in poverty. Many jobs for the ghetto poor are extremely dangerous and unpleasant and not worth getting hurt at work at a horrible job. Work, working prevents some from caring for their children. Public schools are still unequal and racially segregated. Blacks are put at a disadvantage in these schools. Ghetto blacks issue dirty jobs for low pay, which are not worth the risk. Ghetto poor refuse to cooperate because the work stigmatizes them, and many Americans have racial bias toward black Americans. We oppose welfare and associate blacks with being lazy.